G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne, Australia. You can see my QR code down the bottom there that you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. In this video series, I'm going to be discussing how you can install and configure and use Big Fix in an air gapped environment. In part one, I'm going to be showing you the installation of Big Fix in an air gapped environment. So we've got the installation generator, which is the first thing that we need to make sure that we've got a copy of. And in order to do that, we go to the release website on support.bigfix.com. Here we'll go to the latest version, which is version 10. Now on this particular page here, we can download the installation generator, which is what we want to do here to get all of the files created. We also, while we're here, want to go down to our tools area, or our utilities area, and we also want to grab a copy of the air gap tool because that's another tool that we'll be needing as we go through the process of installing with an air gap solution. So here I am on an internet connected device. Typically you use a laptop that's connected to the internet to do the actual installation generation. So I've got on this laptop here, I've got a copy of my masthead file. And I've also got a license.pvk and a license.crt file, which is part of the installation that we need. I've also got the Big Fix installation generator for Windows, which I've downloaded here. And so now I run that on my Windows laptop here that's connected to the internet. And this will download the necessary files. Now, although I don't have a license authorization file, I could use that if I had one. It's just a simple case of pointing that to uh, that particular file when we get to that stage. So we want to select production here. We accept the terms, the conditions. So here's where I'd put my authorization file if I if I actually had it here. But I don't, I've actually got an existing masthead, so I'll select that. But most people would be doing the, I want to do it with a license authorization file. So now we click through to where we've got our license key, our masthead. We open that. And that's asking me where I want to actually install this, uh, this set of installers. So in this instance, I'm going to put it in this dump directory. I'll go big fix lab. So now it's generated all of the installation files that I need. And it's actually launching the big fix installation guide. So we won't worry about that. What we are worried about is these particular files here. So we've got a, a client installation file. We've got a console installation file, a server installation file. So now we need to flick across to our air gapped big fix environment and copy these files across. So here we are with my big fix server in an air gapped environment. I've done a couple of things already. I've installed SQL and I've copied across the BES installers that we created with our big fix installation generator, as well as our BES keys. I've also created an entry in my etc hosts so that I can actually resolve the particular host name that I've got inside my masthead that I configured when I created my actual installation. So now all that's left is to do the installation. So we'll start off with the big fix server. So we go into our biz installers directory and into our server and we run the setup. We click OK for English United States. 
And next, we want to install both the big fixed server and web reports on this server. We'll browse to where our private key is. We'll give the password. And we'll accept the masthead file location. We want to do a single or master database. Oops, we'll give a user ID and a password. And we want to use the local database that I've installed. We'll accept the default location. We'll accept the default www path and URL. And the defaults also for web reports. We'll use local system at the moment for web reports. And that's it. We'll just wait for this to install. Then we'll create the database account. Oh, sorry, the database. And that's it. We're finished. Now, if we run the diagnostic tool, we're going to find some errors here. First and foremost, we can't actually connect to the internet. So that's to be expected. Secondly, we don't actually have a best client installed, which is also understandable. So that's fine, we can close that off. Now we can drop back a directory. And what we'll do is run our console installation. And we'll just accept all the defaults for this particular install as well. And we'll launch the program. And while we're waiting for that to launch, which won't take long because there's nothing in there, we'll just run our client installation and put a client on our big fix server so that we'll have one client that we can manage. Just wait a few seconds for the endpoint to show up. And there we go. So in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to use the AirGap tool to gather contents for your sites. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com which is your landing page for finding out further information on a product offerings, and you can schedule a demo there. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation, access to create support tickets, and also some details on events and webinars. And finally, we have forum.bigfix.com, where you can interact with other like-minded Big Fix enthusiasts, ask questions, and also engage with other users. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I wish you success on your continued Big Fix journey.